good day. Hi. Hello. 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 And this chair. I wouldn't it's say very, it's a new chair. Well, this is a very old <laughs> new chair. It's the oldest chair ever. <laughs> it's new to me. It's new to him. It's new to my podcast. butt and body. And, and it looks more comfy than we all do. <laughs> I mean, do you want a chair that you've acquired? I mean, do you want a round robin this thing? I mean, yeah. We, you, we can just go around. And every everybody can use little chairs on the episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we could. That yeah, might be a little in the hard. chair now. <laughs> <laughs> just don't hurt yourself on this thing. There's winner gets that respect. But. Other, What's than up, your, guys? other than your chair. I love this chair. <laughs> the weather is still shitty from last episode. <laughs> it hasn't gotten any snow. warmer. <laughs> award season's over. What's there to live for? Yeah. And then the award season, speaking of, is uh, the Oscars. Oscar. The Oscar the Grouch Awards. The Academy Awards. <laughs> the Academy Award. Yeah. Whatever. Goes I love to how Oscar they did the finally, Grouch. Then now they actually say the Oscar goes to. Like they actually started advertising as the Oscars now. Like yeah. Pulled that stick out of there. I ass. was thinking that the other day, too. <laughs> They used to do that all the time, and mm-hmm. the Academy Award goes to. Yeah. So who do you think was not the Gary best? Oldman? I'm gonna say Neil Patrick Harris was the best. Was the best part of it? His best dress. Best dress. Oh, best. I, I thought uh, <laughs> Rosamund Pike looked very mm-hmm. nice from Gone Girl. Did you see that, by the way? Yes, I did. Mm. You liked it? No. No, my parents didn't well, like why it. Fuck that movie. I like why fuck that? I like it. Why fuck it? I like the ending. Really pissed me off. See, well, I, didn't I like haven't. The book so no, at all. I, I didn't the read the book. So I bought it afterwards I, to read it, and then I didn't. Like halfway through the book, I was like, "The bitch is crazy." Like yeah. I, I just got Spoiler it. Spoiler alert: She might be crazy. But I really I like the way they did it. In uh, I, I like David Fincher as a director, and I think, I like, I think Ben Affleck's really a great actor. Like oh, I, yeah. a lot of people shit all over him, but I think he's awesome. And yeah, I feel like I he's gotten better he's, with. He's amazing. I didn't think it was like, the best I picture. It. I watched uh, Inherent Vice the other night. I thought that was the best picture of the year for sure. Well, I was but, I was saying that um, I do I do or... want to see that I I know we all haven't really seen I saw Birdman seen much of those really I've yeah. seen all I've of them, the see Selma all of them. and what was the other one I said I didn't watch I didn't watch Selma and I didn't watch uh, <laughs> Whiplash oh, fuck yeah I don't remember yeah uh, you you did watch Whiplash did you no I haven't seen yeah. one. was that not yeah that was that's the only yeah one. that was yeah one. I really want that's the Imitation <laughs> Game was pretty good I really um, want to see Imitation Game but yeah. Theory of Everything was really good Birdman. But Boyhood, out of the crop that was there, Boyhood, I thought, was the one. That's yeah. like a... Um, that would take the, Best Picture? The reason, yeah. yeah. The reason I haven't watched that yet, because both times that I've went to watch it, since it's a three-hour movie... Serious time commitment. You ha- yeah, you have to... Really? Like, it's been yeah. like 8 o'clock, and I'm like, I want to watch It's like 208 like, minutes. Well, oh, well wow. then not that one. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not I mean. the one you would choose. <laughs> it's like a day, I, I like think a Saturday exactly or right. Sunday during the day. I think it's 208 minutes, so it's like... Holy shit. Park it, bud. Three hours and like 30 minutes, something like that. That's like a... Three o'clock in the afternoon start. Then and that's that what I mean. Give it's, like a a lazy, it's like a lazy, it's like a lazy Sunday yeah. afternoon yeah. kind of movie, and it's there like there's no real action to it. Like not a lot happens really. Yeah. Um, it's it's literally just it's just a like an emotional up. journey. But you, uh, yeah. yeah, it's of a boy. It's definitely a movie to just like settle in and you know, <laughs> right? Enjoy it. That's the only reason I haven't watched it. and I've been wanting to watch it for like several yeah. weeks, but it's just yeah, been, I've you know been decided to watch it too late. Imitation game, like. That doesn't. It's it doesn't good, peak my interest. I it's don't know. good, but like I did not think, like the guy. Um, didn't someone win for best screenplay for that? Best yeah, adaptive it was the screenplay. Writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah the writer, And I yeah. just didn't get it. Like I just didn't see how it was. I didn't a even good know that was writing. a category. Um, but adaptive I like Benedict. Screenplay. I like Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, Cumberbatch. Um, that one. Benedict Cumberbatch. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. <laughs> Speaking of John Travolta, he just made it even more awkward once again with everything. Why? Yeah. What was with him touching everybody? I don't know. Yeah, He's weird. The memes now of him like kissing Scarlett yeah. Johansson and he, kissing like, everybody, like everywhere. <laughs> My favorite one was when when somebody took Kanye kissing Kanye. Yes. And now they took John Travolta kissing Kanye <laughs> kissing Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, Fucking John Travolta. And I really wanted to see Guardians of the Galaxy win I an know. Academy Award because that would have been especially for. Too, I mean, I know it was up for visuals, which cool but like the makeup and uh, that's what it was it was yeah. makeup yeah. and hairstyling i was like how the fuck did uh Bud- but grand yeah. budapest hotel was a great movie but they made tilda swinton look like an 80 year old woman and guardians of the galaxy like every major character was pure yeah. makeup right yeah. it's not like just a couple it was a sci-fi movie. i, like, and it's it's five, I can think of five Come characters on. off the top of my head that were big big characters in that movie and were 
make up head to toe. Right, and not just like CGI. And all those flaws. Yeah. So. yeah, like speaking about that, Eric actually um, tweeted something and I was like, oh my God, so true. But he was like, so a solid movie about a failed ex superhero wins a lot, but a great superhero movie can't yeah. even win the VFX award. Yeah. Wait, what was the first part of that? A failed superhero, like Birdman. 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 Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I think, um, but it didn't have a chance in effects because my God, Interstellar was there. Yeah, uh, what are you gonna do about that's that? That's why I, I couldn't argue that because that was crazy. Uh, that was a joy to watch. I still need to watch that. That is another one you Gosh. need to see. You haven't seen Interstellar? Is that? No. I don't think that's no. out yet on no, DVD. Not, I don't no. think it's out. Blu-ray yet. Um, yet. Yeah, can't but, um, wait. You probably what's, pay like thirty dollars for it on demand. What's the director of Guardians? I'm. Uh, um, like, fuck, you know James Gunn. Yeah, James, James Gunn. If you hadn't asked me, I would have been able to tell you. He supposedly tweeted about like how like there was no love for the superhero movies and stuff. But yeah, he he put up a Facebook thing about how like just because you are like a small independent movie or you're not a mainstream movie, he's like, I guarantee you that the Russos put as much love into Captain America and myself into a talking raccoon as you did about like yeah. your depressed 30 year old woman. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. I mean, it's true. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, it's weird to, th- I mean, to say that like just this certain group of people get to judge yeah. who wins an award. I mean, it's, it's, and it's so political. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it really is. They but, go on campaigns to like, yeah, yeah it's, but, Whatever. I mean, then again, a lot of these movies are awesome, so it's at least they're the ones that are nominated are true to, like, still the, you know. I was disappointed. I didn't get to see. Usually, every year, the Charles Theater has the short films, both animated and live action. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, Chris to go to see them every year, and this year, they only have, like, they play the animated ones, one showtime every day at, like, 9.30 at night, so we didn't get to see any of them. It was, like, sad when the categories came up. You're like, ah. Oh. Okay, I thought of you when Feast won. Best oh my god, I, we were really excited. Yeah, we, we were I didn't so excited. It, and then after that big hero air. one, yeah. I was like, how perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Is I Feast texted. included on the Blu ray? Like, if you buy the big hero 6 Blu ray? So. Is it on the Blu ray? That would be cool. So cute. I never, it was yeah. really good. They I mean, usually throw them in there for all of this, I believe. Yeah, it was. I love all the pick, like the Disney and Pixar short films. They're so fantastic. Is Feast Pixar? I don't. Well, no, because Disney. No, that's just Disney animation. Well, Disney owns It was a nice little short story of. A oh, dog and his and love Remember for the a one human? about the two umbrellas? I forget what it's played in front of. It was like a Pixar short film about the two umbrellas. Yes. And the, yes. That was like. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like my no. favorite. And I can never I remember can't... what it's called. But it, the only yeah. one I remember, what was it before with the paper air, the paper airplane? That one's cute. It's That's like the good. guy the who works in like, the like, office and like. Yeah. He throws, what was right? that before? Yeah. Yeah. He throws out the window or he catches one or. Yeah. He like throws it. Was and, there one? It leads into a woman, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then the she's umbrella in the office like, like across the way. It leads him to <laughs> a, a woman. <laughs> That's what I thought he said. <laughs> he throws the paper airplane into a woman. It leads right into it her penetrates. vagina. <laughs> it got oh, God. Her vagine. <laughs> vagine. I threw this paper airplane. Vigine. Next thing you know, I'm it inside. It was the blue umbrella. The blue umbrella and the red umbrella. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. and they, it, like the wind, the it's umbrella. like a blue umbrella sees a red umbrella, and he like wants to get close to her, so... The wind catches him and he's blowing yeah, towards her and he gets so oh, close okay. and then he doesn't get to get to her and then someone picks him up and walks across the I street and then they're one, right yeah. next to each other at a crosswalk. Oh. And they're you like, know why we all saw it? Because it was in front of Monsters U. There you go. Oh, I didn't see Monsters I didn't see U. Monsters U. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't, oh. Really? I didn't see Monsters Inc. <laughs> oh. Well, oh, well, that's that a one, shame. That's unacceptable. I've heard Monsters I do want to see doing? Monsters You're fine without seeing Monsters U, honestly. I was going to say, was it... I'm no, not gonna say it was, was terrible. Fun to watch, it was it was fun, but I would have much rather have a sequel to Monsters than a well, yeah. Creeds Monsters. Okay. Do you know, I was watching a documentary about Disney World this past weekend, and there's a new Monsters attraction there where they have like kids go into this auditorium, and there's a screen, but it doesn't look like a screen, and mm-hmm. Mike like walks out and. Mm-hmm. You can actually like it's have like, a conversation it's like his and laugh interact and stuff. Oh, and it, 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 yeah, that's it. Was called. actually there when I was huh. when I was there like a long time ago. Really, it's, it might have been an old. It's fairly new. I mean, anything that's ten years old at Disney is still really new. Yeah, yeah. It so, was just neat. Like ahead of the time. So they have so, one with so cool. a crush from Finding Nemo, just like it. But like, yeah, he sits mm-hmm. down. And he can be like, um, hey, uh, the gentleman in the Batman shirt and the beanie. Like, mm-hmm. exactly. Well, that's cool. Really neat. Wonder how they're controlling that. Is there huh? someone like in the back? I wonder. Like, yeah, there's I mean, sure. there's people there. Yeah. Would you say Wizard, Wizard of Oz? Of Oz. <laughs> yeah, they actually they showed their uh, they, they showed the Magic the curtain, Kingdoms right? like computers like their servers, 
And it's just rows of just these supercomputers, and each one's labeled like Haunted Mansion. And then, and then the guy's <laughs> oh, like, yeah. you can play whatever sound you want. It's like they just have like rows and rows of these supercomputers, and each one like controls one ride. Ridiculous. Nuts. I want to go back. I haven't been Super. to a Disney park in. Forever. I want to go now that they have Marvel. Because I haven't like, been to a Disney yeah. park. And, and Star Wars, and Star for Wars. fuck's sake. They're going to build Star oh, Wars. You haven't park. ever? Have never. Tony's never been to Star Wars. Really? Never been to a Disney that's a shame. We shall it's go. Just get go. your or like, just yeah. all chip in to get you to go. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for you now. Yeah, that's. I mean, sad. you have felt yeah. bad for so many we'll, years. We'll pitch in <laughs> for the like, ticket. Can we not but talk you have it. to buy the plane ride. <laughs> I've been <laughs> twice and thought I was like really cool, and uh, we were, we were watching it. No, we were watching it. I was like Krista, because me and Krista went to Universal one year because she said she didn't. She was like, ah, I don't really need to go to Disney World. So yeah. I asked her. I was like, How many times have you been? She's like, oh, like 300. I was like, what? Her grandfather grew, like lived in Orlando growing up. Oh, the, there it is. And they would yeah. stay there in the summers. The go, ultimate like, every retire day. area is fucking Orlando. Yeah. God damn it. I see like people on Instagram that go like when they're when you live near it. I guess you just go like that. Yeah, you just kind of that, which would be sweet. Which, I guess if you have like a whatever that pa- like a pass. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you pass, were down there, you'd you get might as well just go. Yeah, I mean, I would, sense. I would go. I if would I hell there. yeah, I would never ever get bored of that place. Too bad Maryland doesn't have anything that we can just no. walk no. and go to or no. just drive twenty minutes. Well, you can get to. I mean, there's like good. The one in New Jersey, the Six Flags, is ridiculous. No, but the, exactly Six Flags. Well, you want like you have to rides. drive two and a half hours. Well, if you want rides, Six Flags is no. I want a fucking Disney World right next to me. Yep. Or 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 Universal Studios. Yeah, I mean, it's on a whole other level, but yeah. I wonder how it works where... I'm regretting that I went to Universal. <laughs> Should have gone to the Magic Kingdom. Uh, like, how... Because I remember... Well, Universal still has a Marvel section. Yeah, that's so, uh, but I, that's an island of adventure. It's like the Marvel... I, I know, yeah. but I'm saying... I guess they're going to keep Marvel there? I wonder if that's... Like, if Disney is like, hey, isn't it, I don't, we're going to take it. I don't know. Like, Is it all... It's not all Marvel, is it? Isn't it like, like Superhero Town? Or is it Marvel No, town? it's Marvel I think because... It is too, cause they Six don't Flags is DC. Yeah, yeah. You're right. And they have the bat wing and... Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of the one ride that's you. It's like the Joker coaster at Six Flags. Yeah, the Hulk. At it's the Hulk at Universal. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that was the first roller coaster I ever. Went, well, no, the second kick ass roller coaster. Yeah, the ones that start really fucking fast. Really, and yeah. like break your and neck. The Hulk, yeah. like the Hulk, you start in a tube. <laughs> yeah, and you're angled up at like a like forty five degree angle, and when it starts, it just goes like. <laughs> I'm like, you go flying out of this tube and like immediately track. spin upside down. I remember I, I, great roller coaster. <laughs> when I was there, I had a friend next to me. And they they were like, they were like turning around to like talk to their friend, like the people behind them. Oh, and oh it was Jesus! Just like, ah, it's just like, I don't know how his neck like literally, and he's, and he's dead now. <laughs> Yeah. And you have to stand there like, in line for like 45 minutes just watching people get launched <laughs> out of this tube. Oh my That's gosh. like um, That's the volcano cool. one at King's Dominion. Like I went on that and it's one of the dangly leg there. ones. Yeah. But literally you're just sitting there and it's just like... Yeah. And like you fly out of the top of a volcano and you like flip out of it. And <laughs> King's Dominion is cool. I went... Um, which I've been better, there, yeah. King's Dominion or Bush Gardens? Because I haven't been to either and we're trying to like I think of which one. I've been to Bush, Bush, Bush Gardens. Gardens I've been to. Never been there. I've been to both. I've been, been to like the Bush years. Gardens down I would go to in King's. Florida too, which was fucking mad cool. I, I really? feel like King's Dominion might be better. Yeah. From what I remember at Bush Gardens, but I was a lot younger. So. Doesn't Bush Gardens yeah, have a too. sweet water park though? Yeah. They well, like uh, water, it's country, water country USA. USA. Yeah, like it's like next there. to it. If it's cool. I don't country. know. Um, I remember I used to like Hershey Park too. Well, I used yeah, to be afraid. Go wrong with Hershey. I used to be afraid of roller coasters. Like, I never used to. Go. I love Probably it. never had a problem. Too. So I was like thirteen. So. Yeah, something around yeah around mm-hmm. that age. And when my you were actually like, well, we're all to go going, on. we're all going on. So you should probably get on. <laughs> no, Samantha Easter. Remember Samantha Easter tricked me the first. Like I would go on roller coasters, but if they went upside down. Yeah, I wouldn't. And she tricked me into getting on that upside down roller coaster. <laughs> I did at Disney World. I was responsible for breaking the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. <laughs> How so? Please, because please do tell. Because I was like are you, seven. Are you sure you're supposed to be telling? Us this? <laughs> oh yeah, they're still they looking not for him. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like six Wanted. or seven when the first time I went. I didn't like thrill rides, and the reason is because my mother would always say she couldn't go on them because she was motion sick or she'd get motion sickness, mm-hmm. and. So I automatically thought, well, I have motion sickness. So if I saw a sign that said motion sickness, I'd freak out. So Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and my dad's like, it doesn't go upside down. It'll be fine. So we get up to the thing, and him and my sister get in the front seat, in the front, like, two cars. Me and my mom get in the back, and I'm sitting in it, and I just go, I can't do it. Let's get off. 
So I get out of the car, and with that, the bar goes down, and my mom is like, oh, I, I can't get out. I can't get out with you. And my dad's like, just wait there. We'll be back in five, as the train starts to pull out of the station. So that was not acceptable to me. So I take a running leap and no. jumped off the platform no. into the moving roller coaster, and they had to, like, slam on the brakes. <laughs> And it fucked up their entire. Who does that? I do. I was six. No, I I used to. I like really did not like being left alone, or like like I always like had to be around my mom. Um, But it's pretty extreme. Yeah, right. But it it like threw off their entire timing system in their computers. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So they let my mom off the ride, and my dad and my sister went on it, and we're like standing around by the exit. We're like, where the hell are they? They got stuck on the first hill for three hours because oh my, God. my That's fucking thing ruined the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. <laughs> nice. And I be. And he was never allowed yeah. back. Could you hear him on like the, the walkie talkies? We got a uh, six year old boy that's jumping onto the roller coaster. Yeah, we went to we went to MGM like two days later at uh, the Tower of Terror. Oh was there and we get up to the top and I then was there's like there's a picture of Bobby right there like don't <laughs> let this kid on this my mom's ride. like I'm gonna take there's a wimp elevator so she's like I'm gonna take the wimp elevator and I was like I'm gonna go on and my dad was like you better go down with your mom. <laughs> they wouldn't let me on it you wanted to but at the last second like, I didn't ride Space I Mountain so. I didn't do any of that when not the first time I went oh my god yeah. too scared. I would have done all of it uh, Big Bad Wolf at was that that might be a, that might have been a King's Dominion or Bush Gardens that's like one of the dang hey, the legs ones that your mm-hmm. legs hang. Those scare the shit out of me for the oh, legs. Hey, I like yeah, them. the first one I did was the Great Bear at yeah. Hershey Park. Mm-hmm. Big time I scare. like those, but like I'm the worst person because when we're going over a hill and it like moves just a l- or up a loop and yeah, the yeah. things like move a little just because yeah, they cause do. Yeah, because you have a little bit I'm of like, room. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my dialogue, my dialogue. I'm the worst person to go on roller coasters. Have like, you ever been on the like, ring I of fire? Like, while waiting in line. So it's like, Kay's here. I'm gonna sit like yeah, eight I'm back. You've been on the, the ring back. of fire at uh, the Maryland State Fair. The no. ring of fire. All it is is a loop. A ring. And it just goes like. I see that at like I've those fucking those. parking lot oh, yeah. fairs. It is notorious <laughs> for being horrifically unsafe. And last time I went on it, I was still in high school, but. The the bars that go over they go over your shoulders, but they wouldn't stay on. So the bar opens, you're uh-huh. like falling out. I literally had my hand like Jeez. pushing against the top of the cage, hoping I wouldn't fall through it. Like <laughs> holy shit. But the ones that scare me the most are the ones like the Batman one and Six Flags that like lays that, you down. The Batwing. Yeah. That's what I've been on. Batwing is yeah. fun as shit. I was not going on I loved it, it but I was, I was just like, and... this is going to snap and I'm just dropping straight to the ground. Exactly. Like, yeah. I, mean, I, have I did it. I was fine first. with it. But then I wrote it again. Yeah, the first I, like, time I was fine. I'm like, uh, okay, let's do it again. <laughs> I stood by the fence while my friends went on it when I went. Well, I, the, I think the scariest part is, okay, like, well, you're standing up, then they lay you down, and then you go up backwards, and then they and then they turn you on your over as you're about to drop yeah. you're like oh fuck you're this like, was yeah. a big mistake yeah. honestly the drops that. like not going upside down anymore it's the drops that scare me the most like when oh, I love the drops like, that's the best part or when they the one at, there's one at Hershey Park now that goes like in Inward. like it's yeah. a yeah, concave they, like, and then, then spit you out yeah. really yeah it's oh, yeah. ridiculous we were wa- her and I were watching like something on like Destination Channel, wherever the hell it is. Yeah, one of those. And it was like amusement <laughs> parks on like Saturday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Great it was days. it was amazing. Like all of the uh, all the rides that exist in the world that are just exactly what he said. Like some of them are just you go almost like, fucking inward. And <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I don't understand how that works physically. I have no idea how that works, but it does. Magnets. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean they they, they had like I think the main first one that everybody knew about was the Cedar Point one, the top yeah, that was literally yeah, yeah, up and yeah. down. And when I went to Cedar I heard that Point, place I did not go so on that. So awesome, that like, place I'd is love awesome. to go. Like a literal, and like, the resorts that are like in the park are really good, like where you can stay. Ha- is too. it like a big? Is it like a Disney like huge kind of thing, or is it like a Hershey Park? Uh, I would say it's like a Hershey. Like just to isolate one place, seems like, like it was like in park. between almost. Yeah, I mean it's a big place and it's got a lot of coasters, but it's got a lot of no. Okay, so it's an amusement park with hotels, resorts that you can stay in inside. Right. So it's bigger than a Hershey. Okay. okay. But, um, yeah, so, like, 
that fun. one. And then, like, now all the places mm. have just, like, straight up, straight down, real yeah, fast the, the, ones. You yeah, know what's vertical, yeah. 90 degrees. You know the rides like, that have, like, really upped their game are, like, are some of the water park rides that are exactly oh, like yeah. that, where, like, oh, hell the, yeah. the drops are the exact those same as some of those roller coasters. Well, I just did the one in Ocean City that they just came out with at Splash Mountain. I want to do that. I did it. I did it last opens up and it just drops you straight down. what? You did tell me about that a long time ago. What does it do? It's like a go aqua it's called the aqua loop so it's like yeah it's like you're the whole thing is a tube so you're like covered but it's 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 only one loop but you're you're, it's almost 90 degrees it's probably a little like yeah a little little off but um you think you get in this like it's like a capsule and like you're standing on it and they like they literally and they they like because they close you in with this clear door yeah so you can see at least and yeah and then so you're like standing there and they like put this butt hit this button and it's an automated like three, two, one, and then like the floor drops out from oh, under you. God. And, and then you're, li- uh, you're literally so weightless. Awesome. It was. You're literally weightless for like. We saw that on TV. I don't even know yeah, how long. We saw that too. And then you go around the loop, like your body goes Is it around. Is a body slide? Yeah. yeah. That doesn't like fuck up your back? No, it's fine. No, That's what I was thinking. Like, I, I, I don't sometimes how body work, slides where you can you like. Know? The brakes. Yeah, the I know what you like, mean. Yeah, no, that yeah. it wasn't like that. But that's good. Of course, they fucked with yeah, me. Yeah, those are the worst. And they're like three, two, one, and then they didn't do the door. And I'm like, I thought it was broken. <laughs> and I like, hey. and then I look look over and the guys because my dad's like standing there and he's oh, like, yeah. hey, so it was your movie. dad's <laughs> fault. <Yeah. laughs> and I'm like, come on. He's like three. <laughs> yeah, but that thing was awesome. So I was like the one at um, is that a Jolly Roger? Yeah, well, Splash Mountain. Yeah, same. Oh, part. That, like, yeah, that's like their water park. The one that's yeah. like a big white V, and like you, yeah, get, it just goes like the like, yeah, yeah, like half yeah. pipe thing. That's yeah, and I was like, like, like scary flip. as fuck. They look awesome. awesome. Well, the guy at the top, he's like chained to like a pole, so he doesn't fucking fall yeah. off because he has to like help you get in the tube because yeah. when he falls God. off, he's got to like hold it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but those you feel like you're gonna fly off the top of those. They look awesome. I want to yeah. do those. I mean, you do yeah. feel like you're gonna fly off the <laughs> top of them. I remember being on that, and when you go down the drop leading to it, I'm always, I guess, because I'm the heaviest. The bigger person, you are, the like you're the, the you're, you're crazier back is it is towards that drop. And yeah, you're like, right. <laughs> you're constantly like looking over your shoulder, like where the fuck is it? Like I know it's coming, and when it does, you you really feel like. Then when you get to the you top, know, like you get to the apex, you start to come down. I always feel like my tube's just gonna go like, mm. and then just, <laughs> just like completely over. Yeah. Exactly what I thought. That's like, what uh, I feel about like those big funnels. Like what? you know the big that. funnels, and you're like in like in the, the big room. raft with like four yes. or five people. Yes. Yeah. I feel like that's always just gonna go like totally mm. flip. The ones that are open, like yeah, We're yeah, yeah so they're like real skinny. Yeah, when you're just like yeah, when you're hauling ass. <laughs> yeah, you just like land in the lazy river, like right. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Not so lazy. No. I do like those yeah. straight slot, the straight drop where you just go out a little and you're like fucking ten stories up and, and then just like just it just straight yeah. down. Oh, yeah, they have uh, where the water's like awesome. skidding off. Yeah. You're like <laughs> at the Typhoon sides. Lagoon in uh, Disney World. They have one of those, and mm-hmm. then, or no, I'm Blizzard Beach. It. Blizzard Beach. And they yeah. have one at the Atlantis in the Bahamas, which we're gonna do when we I go there for oh, work. God, I want to do that. Isn't it? Isn't that the one like you go through and it's like huge fish tanks? Well, there's there's like three slides and like one. There two of them. One's a tube and it's like lit. The other's a tube and it's dark. And the other one, I like, like the dark a straight ones. drop body slide, but all of them at the end spit you out. And they built a shark tank with, well, it's really not a shark tank. It's just a giant aquarium that has sharks. And the tubes go through the aquarium. So That's you're just awesome. like floating down the lazy river at the end with like sharks just kind of like hanging out oh, all over. That's awesome. so cool. You can pet them. <laughs> so a guy did pet one for an hour. Oh, he got the shark got stuck. He helped it. Oh. <laughs> He lost his hand. <laughs> it like beached itself. Yeah. At, oh. And like a guy like like climbed just, the wall and like just pushed, pushed it. the fucker yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the pitch black ones are my favorite though. They have those at um, Splash They're Mountain cool. too. Yeah. Where literally the only light coming through is like a the pinholes. Yeah. 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 And you literally don't know if, whether it's a turn or not. You're just screaming yeah. like. Ah! I think they had. I can't remember. Have where you ever they gotten had one. dumped in a tube? Like in a well in your inner tube, your tube dumps you while you're inside yeah. a closed tube. Yeah. And the tube comes out before you. Yeah, yeah like, that's scary. <laughs> I'm always waiting for the other person behind me to come and just be like, <laughs> just take everybody, like, break you. your leg in the fuck fucking bullet. dark. <laughs> but yeah, I now I want to go to Wildwood. Now I just want to go yeah. to yeah, yeah. They have some the best water awesome. parks. Fucking water park. I just want to make. I want to make the Ocean City this year for longer than a day. And that drops. Get to do though. that. Like, get to go to like Splash Mountain and fucking. I, yeah, I hadn't been to Splash Mountain. I went last year because we we go to. 
um, you know, do the go karts every once in a while, but we hadn't done the the oh, water yeah. park. I've in never a been while. to the water park. The go karts, it was oh, good. Yeah. Like, cause oh, yeah. you know, some of them are just like, eh, kind of the same yeah. thing. But even like those ro- like those tubes, you wanted to keep doing over and over again. Like, right? It's not like they have so many that you can do good, all of them just tube. once. But yeah, you should mm-hmm. go to Wildwood. Their water park is awesome. I, I like theirs more than Ocean City's. Right? Oh yeah, it's awesome. It's huge. I want to go now. But they now I want to go to Blizzard uh, Beach and fucking Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah, they it's have that drop slide though. Everything. That thing is like a, into the ten foot pool. Mm-hmm. It's like a slide that like oh, yeah. comes down and then just stops, and then it's like a ten foot drop to hit the water and then until you hit the water. It's so pretty you like cool. Slide, come off the slide, and then just drop oh. and then hit the water. It's like a really it's awesome. wide. Damn, son of a bitch. No, I was like just gonna say out. unless you open space, unless you land on your depend on the momentum. Yeah, I mean, you're like kind of laying back, so you're not gonna really like flip forward. Yeah. See, at the hopefully, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can. If, if not, you're gonna be fucking I mean, doing even if water. Straight on your back, that still hurts. Yeah, oh, it'll. It's sting. still fun. <laughs> it'll sting. But the big a, body slide at uh, like the big tall one at the Atlantis. They like give you instructions on how you're supposed to do it because like if you lean too far back, you'll oh, like, yeah. crush your head. If you lean too far Jesus forward, Christ. you'll like fly off. <laughs> So you See, have I'm to not like, gonna ride that. You have to yeah, fold your arms and position your body and like cross your feet, but you have yeah. to keep your feet pointed up because if you don't, it spits you out so fast on the bottom that your feet hit the ground and like yeah, scrape like, oh, the God. like sole of your foot off. That happened to my dad, and it was like walking around the Bahamas in like the sand with like uh, raw wounds on your feet. Vacation oh ruined. God. Not God. fun. Yeah. Save that for the I end. Probably I probably wouldn't do that <laughs> again if we went or wear water shoes. I'm do it. <laughs> Wildwood has that awesome, uh, it's like an inner tube slide where you go like sh- high as fuck and you got this <coughs> inner tube with one or two people. You go down a tiny slide into a pool and then you go through a little tube that like swir- swirls around and then you hit another pool and then it's like a little bit steeper drop into another pool and then it's a giant drop into another pool. So how do you get out of those pools? Like do you just fly th- <laughs> yeah, straight I mean, you through like, them? Yeah, I mean like the water pushes you towards the other like, oh, slides yeah, okay. or like yeah. there's people in each pool like lifeguards that help push you or okay. you, like half the time you Disney hit a pool had one like that. A pool. <laughs> Isn't there one at Splash Mountain that's like a drain? You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Like you go around and around. I want to do that too. And it like kind of yeah. Yeah. Those are fun too. Like a fucking toilet. <laughs> yeah, we just turned tangent t- about some amusement parks, huh? Yeah, because they're awesome, and now I really, really want. You know what's right? also awesome? Spider Man. That was a good transition. You're welcome, Gary. Go. That was bad. I know. I like. Well, it. For, if I we're like gonna it. go there, well, I was just. I'm just thinking like, wow. Go from, from Spider Man. Go from Spider Man the ride at Universal to me wanting to talk about Spider Man. Great ride at Universal. Casting mm-hmm. news. Oh God. You sound salty. <sighs> Did they cast? <laughs> You're I mean, he's no. about because he's about to <laughs> I mean, insult a lot of people. I feel like well, they didn't cast anyone. Here's no. the thing, Garrett. You're not even gonna have to worry about it because I bet you they don't cast an actor for Civil War. Why would they? It's but like regardless, even if he's no not in Civil War. There. But if we're ready to talk about this, because I am. It's whether or not you're ready to talk about I've been ready for I'm ready to talk about it. Go. a right. while. Go, then go ahead. You know what, Garrett? Take it away. PG. Okay. What do you want to share? Well, here's the, here, here's the thing. This is obviously like a hot topic in the nerd world right now. And the nerd world. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it also can be a touchy topic because people are, are being considered racist in a way. Um, which, okay, because I've thought a lot about this. It's like, okay. I hope so. <laughs> well, no, because, the, yeah, there might be some people out there that are racist and they don't want, and they're saying these things about not wanting Spider-Man to be black. Or Hispanic, right? But from my point of view, I know that I'm not. I have plenty of things to back up that I'm not. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, it, I've it, got a black friend, but it, it's it's <laughs> it's not I even that. Up. It's <laughs> like it's not even that. It's like it's not like I I, I have something against the African American race or the Hispanic race. Like yeah, it, there's a difference. Like there's I you know, know you well. You don't carry yourself as but the, I'm, yeah, I'm so. just giving for other people out there that have heard all these you know r- like talks about it. But from my point of view, you know it's it's not that. It's about a a character. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about a race of people. Yeah, and you know it's not like I'm saying racist things about. Th- this race and that race yeah, and that yeah, race yeah. and this race. I, I know what you mean. It's it's about a character that I grew up loving and that I've come to love even more um, over my you know growing up my adult years. It's I mean I have him tattooed on my body. It's it's Important a ca- to you. Yeah, exactly. So that's why and to it, a lot of people. Really. It, it, it's not like you know, Bobby. You and I, we we talked about you know it's a character that's been around for fifty plus years. It's yeah. it's nothing like uh, it's nothing new. So. 
right. I feel like Marvel, whoever, if this is true, that they're going to change it. And I guess if they keep Peter Parker, that's that's, that's the controversy. That's where a problem if they did be. Miles Morales. Here, and no, and see, that's what another reason I can back up that I'm not being racist. It's <laughs> yeah. like, it, okay, let's say they go the Miles Morales like route. Okay, okay, that that well, not okay because I don't want it to be Miles Morales. But if it is, I I've, I want him to be a black or played by a black or Hispanic person. Yes. I do because that is who Miles that Morales sense. is. Yeah. That's how they but created him. But that's not him. who Peter Parker is. But that's is. not who Peter Parker is. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Yes, you can. Who the hell is Miles Morales? He is the ultimate carnation, uh, incarnation of Spider-Man. Okay. So there's the ultimate universe and the regular universe. But that was a huge deal. Like, so like, the he's ultimate like Spider-Man, is that Miles Morales? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Peter he's Parker's... He's like a 13-year-old. His, isn't his mom black and his father yeah. or vice versa? But Hispanic. in the ultimate, yeah. Peter Parker dies in the comic books. So then Miles Morales takes over. So even... There was a Peter Parker. He's you know and now he's, he's no more. Right. Okay. Yeah. So then Miles yeah. took over. Um, but I guess with the movies is that they mix ultimate and regular universes so much that I can see why they would maybe want to do Miles. It could mm-hmm. be either, and yeah. either one could, would be successful. It's just I like, think so, but I think it's also like there's talks that you know instead of you know finding a whole other Peter and they've had so much two other Peters before this that just bring in Miles. Why not just do that? Start kind of yeah, fresh like, with a whole like the new Peter Spider-Man. Parker thing has been done several times before. Let's right. just go a different route. But I don't think so. Why not just keep Peter Parker? Never, even if, if it's well, a new person. I I think it's, it has to be Peter Parker. When everyone was yeah, when you read Civil War, for Miles, Christ's well, sake. when everyone was like, it, I want it to be Miles Morales. A lot of people well, that I read specifically felt like critics and things were saying they wanted it to be Miles Morales. Like give it the update. Right. But here's the thing: Marvel's never had. Uh, Spider-Man to make their movies with, they're not going to make it Miles Morales. It's going to be Peter Parker because that is Marvel's number one bread and butter. Arguably the most like well-known Marvel superhero of but all like time. Yeah. You said, and you know what? It bothered me when they cast Michael B. Jordan as the Human Torch, but it, like yeah, you know, it, it's the Fantastic Four, Fox, and it's not the number one concern for me really. Like I just don't care about the Fantastic Four really. But with Spider-Man, we were talking today. It's like. 60 or 50 years of this character and it's not like if they came and said well you know what Luke Skywalker we're going to reboot Star Wars and Luke Skywalker is going to yeah. be an alien that's yeah that's that like, was going to be my argument i yeah. mean it's true if you take <laughs> it's yeah. not any the char- character yeah. that you have been waiting exactly. your whole life to see on screen that's no yeah. what it's that about character. than any race of any person yeah. it's it's you took like i was going to say if you took han solo and changed him to what something that he's not it doesn't matter what yeah. race is if you change a person that what how they created i mean it would, I would piss off a lot of like i mean people have been waiting a long time to see marvel put exactly out movie. and it's we finally get this amazing announcement and that when people, the <laughs> argument that just drives me fucking crazy they went oh, why not yeah. Like, why can't Peter Parker be black? He, why can't you create a original, fresh character that's black? Like, and don't you, okay. Yeah. And and you another know? thing, it's like, they want diversity. I totally get that. I've, and I want diversity in movies and, too. And they're going to. And, it's, it's, and it's there's not even it, the, they, it's there's other characters. I mean, there's 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 Luke Cage. I don't want Luke Cage to be a, a white look person. At black I don't. Panther. A Black Panther, black Storm, Panther. Bishop. Um, Falcon and Captain America. I mean, yeah. it was a badass it, character. No. I, Anthony I don't, Mackie. I don't, oh, what? Sorry. Brief <laughs> aside. Someone uh, looked at the poster that came out today for the Avengers two and like read through all the names on the list and Anthony Mackie's in it. Yeah, Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. I did, well, I didn't heard that. I was really no. exciting for me. <laughs> I'm really excited that. I mean, uh, he's another one. I enjoyed Falcon. Too. War Machine. I mean, yes. You know, Rhodes. I mean, yeah. Rhodey. It's. I, I just I would never want those people to be a different character of any race either because like, those was, are the yeah, characters like that, you, that's yeah. them that's that's people who they was are. like well Nick Fury changed and that wasn't a big deal but, but he like, did he was no he's he always been ultimates. black in the Ultimate Universe yeah. so he was never yeah. he was just white in the regular universe so it's yeah I don't know it's it's I mean I I agree with you like when, and I guess it's because I have such a passion yeah. for the character too uh, yeah. and I see all these comments you know on you know all these articles that are out now. And, you know, I even see, you know, people of all kinds of races, including black people, saying the the Spider-Man I know is Peter Parker and he's white. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's not like it's just white like, people like saying Any fans it, of the comic books or any fans of actual, like, the Marvel properties aren't going to care because they love the character already. It's the people who don't, who are just like, well, we want more diversity on screen. Yeah. I just, yeah. And I think. I hate it, to say it. 
No, yeah. I know, and which is again, I support diversity and all that. Absolutely, and, absolutely. But I there's just rather a, see a fresh character, right? Like or just makes yeah. Character. But there's yeah. also plenty of other different then races. The alter characters. one that's I mean, been in, in existence for over sixty years. Yeah, you know, I, I just I just want the character that was created, how he was, and just the person I've become to love. You know, I same with the, any other character. Like I said, I mean, well, I think they. I, I, I don't. Want, I mean, I don't really see that that happening I, I really don't i i, th- I, I don't think it's either, i think it's don't. gonna i think it's gonna stick to you know especially with you know civil war coming out next year you know if you read that and, and it, that's it, fucking we all know spider man is. Is, is a huge part of it is a huge huge part of it and that's peter that's yeah, peter parker exactly he took his fucking mask off him. yeah and that's you know? what, and that's another thing is it it messes with storylines when exactly. you do this too. Exactly, like ones that people are used to and know. Yeah, like Mary Jane will probably be turn chain. And but it also okay. comes back to Fantastic Four. I mean, you took a character that Sue Storm and Johnny Storm are brother and sister. Yes. Yeah, I know you can make them now. They're I guess adopted or whatever, but you're still messing with the original yeah, story of these characters that were created by these. You know, icons that these these legends that they created these yeah, characters. It's always been something for a long time. Why? Yeah, why it, change it? But it's just I don't know. Well, that's exactly it. They're icons. Like the people know these characters. They've known them forever, and they are pop culture icons. Yeah. And you don't need to change something just for diversity's sake. Yeah. I think create new pop culture icons and right have them stand alongside the already created and established or, heroes probably even give them a boost to try and like help them become or bring in characters like characters, black panther and give them their own movie that's what they're doing that's exactly put luke cage in a netflix series that's what they're doing i mean yeah. it's they're doing it. They're, they're making all the right moves as far if as far as a diversity stand yeah. goes but but like k even you just you sat here and said who was miles morales yeah i can guarantee anybody that i go up to 95% if I said do you know who Peter Parker is and do you know who yeah. Miles Morales is they're going to 95% they know who they know who Peter Parker, Peter Parker is, is but yeah. don't know but who don't, Miles Morales is because they're not yeah it's, it, it's and it's not it doesn't really have much to do with the <coughs> fact that like Miles hasn't really been around as long as Peter Parker has no. it's still the same character it's yeah. still Spider-Man they've been doing yeah. the ultimate Spider-Man now it's been a while right it has been a while it's been a long time yeah yeah. Well, when they started as Peter, I mean, I think they were probably a couple years in, uh, you know, with Peter, and then he died, and then oh, Miles, Miles started. Has been around for like five years, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Miles. And you know Miles. they did they did you know whole like <laughs> Spider Man thing where you know Peter went to the Ultimate Universe and saw Miles. So it's like, even if they did that, that would be cool. I mean, that shit, would be two cool. Spider-Man. Yeah, why not have a couple of them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just have yeah. a whole fucking Spider Verse. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, that would just be this ridiculous. is too much spider. <laughs> Didn't uh, Sony say they wanted to make like a mar- movie about like five different spider women? They do. They want to do a like spider, a spider woman. woman. I mean, yeah, yeah, I heard the spider woman one. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. And an Ant May movie. When she was a former CIA <laughs> operative. Are you serious right now? Yeah, you didn't read about that? Um, no. I told you about it one day, and you were like, what? That's stupid. But then when the email, and Sony was like, of course not. But then when all those emails came out, they did. They, like, pitched a movie where Aunt May was, like, a retired oh CIA yeah. operative yeah. raising Aunt Peter Aunt Parker. May, the movie. I, th- I thought you knew that, too. Because yeah, I remember like reading that also, and I was like, why? I just yeah, heard about it. I was kind of like, what? Because, you know, they did, you know there's the really Venom. There's the bottom the, of the barrel. We'll make a... A zombie movie with fucking Uncle Ben coming back. <laughs> that well, hey, teaching his fucking ways. Spider Man goes out to save the day and gets confronted with zombie Uncle Ben leading the <laughs> apocalypse. <laughs> and then Marvel Compelling zombies. Stuff. And then Marvel zombies happens. Compelling. There animation. you go. There's a good lead in. I just feel it. like if they were to do Miles, it's only because there's rumors that he's going to take over in the regular universe and the whole comic book thing. So. That, that's come to find out, you know, the whole battle world and, you know, coming up that. So I don't think, I don't think Marvel will ever get rid of Peter Parker permanently. He's like no, the number one character. I mean, but. Yeah. So, do, yeah. Do you feel better now? I mean, I, d- yeah. I needed <laughs> to vent. Do you feel better? I needed to vent about it. And, you know, whether I come off to people that, you know, I'm being ignorant. People are going to take it however way He needed want. to vent, but he's been doing that all day. <laughs> he's been preparing. <laughs> he's been preparing all day. Yeah, but it's he different. Has. It's different when I'm sitting here and really get to like with a microphone get everything out. Yeah, 
He's but, been I mean, organizing I, his thoughts today. I mean, it's, it's a huge. I mean, it's just a huge topic of, for a nerd world kind of. It thing, is, but so. I, I can I can really see it f- like fading away pretty quickly. I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just that's just me. I I, just, I don't I see it like it it came up. It was a huge deal. In a week, you're not even gonna fucking remember it. Yeah, once well, they cast I'm, him, the whole yeah, issue. I was gonna, gonna go say away. once yeah. they cast him is, yeah. is when you're gonna. It's either gonna be yeah or nay. But you know they're probably gonna at least bring in some minority candidates to read for him because they. Donald they're Glover. They're just going to, I imagine. But <laughs> here's the do thing Donald about Glover. Donald Glover. Even if they're gonna, if they go he's with old. Miles Morales, <laughs> if they go with Miles Morales, he's a 13 year old boy. Donald yeah. Glover is a 33 year old man. <laughs> that By is the one. Time, yeah, that's if one. They you cast have to shave his beard. Parker, Andrew Garfield was like 28 when they cast him as Peter Parker. If they yeah. cast him as Peter Parker, by the time the second movie came out, he'd be right. 40. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so I'm I gonna love go, Donald Glover. I'm gonna go with hashtag Logan Learman. That's my vote. Logan Learman would be Logan vote as well. Logan or Dylan. That's that's both. what a lot, like a lot both, of people were saying. Like Logan, Dylan from the Maze Runner. Really. Yes, that guy. Yeah. Dylan mm-hmm. and Brian. I didn't see it. I don't know who they are. I don't know okay. About that's why you're I just like, like Logan. Donald I like Logan Lerman Donald and everything. Glover. He was really good in Fury. I tell you, all you know is Donald. Donald Glover. Glover. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Donald Donald Glover is great. He's hilarious. He's fantastic. He's fantastic. awesome. Hell of a rapper. Yeah. As a Solomon Pierce is a rapper. So, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Well, I'm glad you got that out of your system. I'm sure you feel better. It's just going to, we won't know until just feel better knowing now. Okay. You got that out of your system. Just feel better that big hero six is now out. I was just actually going to say, I, I know you <laughs> wanted to, let's, <laughs> let's go to a happy yeah. subject. Well, depending on what you said, cause I, I was going to, I was going to say, <laughs> I'm going to be happy because now the big hero six big is hero out. Six is out. Yay. 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 You guys have been raving about it for so long. Yes. We're going to go when buy they, it. When it, when, uh, when you it, still haven't seen it. No, I actually I almost watched it's it last space. night. She's like, like what? Get on that! Like one of my, it, it is. I've thought about it's it, and glorious. I was like, one of my favorite movies of all time. It it's is. There. It's really? like five ninety nine on demand. Wow. I'm all over it. One. I mean, it's not like. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Nineteen, 19 bucks. bucks. Fucking Oscar. Huh? Like, nineteen come bucks on now. You, see, you should see. You should see the long. I hardly ever buy movies. You should see how long my yes was with exclamation points to my work people when I was like, when they won, I was. Well, her and I like almost yeah, fucking started yes. doing front flips on the bed when we were watching. That's <laughs> all I heard. them announce it. We were so fucking yeah. excited. I just heard them yell. I heard yeah. both of you yell like, <laughs> oh my God, Big Hero 6. I'm like, oh, dude. <laughs> Actually, I was not playing Destiny. Oh, that's right. You were playing Minecraft. <laughs> I was playing <laughs> FTB. It was 50-50 chance. <laughs> right, yeah, I was, <laughs> Feed the beast. I was shot in Infinity. the dark. It's fancy. So, yeah, if any of you have still not you seen about Destiny, by the way. And watch Twitch. If either any of you have still not seen Big Hero 6. Get on it. Oh, my gosh. Do it. Go buy that thing. Come hang out with us and we'll watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch it tonight. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Please do. Watch Bobby's going to You're going to love it. If you say anything shitty, we're all just going to be like, why would I hate it? (laughs) Yeah. If you you don't like it, just keep to yourself. (laughs) Bobby's off the podcast. (laughs) I mean, the animated movies are always like, they're always a good go to. A little special place right here. Yeah, Yeah, but you didn't like Wally, so. Wally bored the shit. Wrong with you. I can see it being a little. I, I, could, I mean, I it's not the same. That, honestly, I, I can see that argument. It's good. It being like, I don't like Wally. It was just like one of the greatest love stories of all time. It is no, beautiful. it wasn't at all. Better than Twilight. <laughs> <terrible. laughs> Better than Twilight. Wally. Mm. Yeah. Wally. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, right. So, if, li- so if, if little Wally rolled up yeah. to you, God. his little eyes poked out and he looked no, up No, I mean, he's adorable. You. I like him, but. And then he did the cute little. But if you said Wally, you'd probably kick him shut. I was just like, (laughs) oh, cool. Like, people are fat and they, like, float around on chairs now. Neat. Like, I just. (laughs) (laughs) But there was an underlining tone. Yes. Yes. There's a moral to the story, you know? Yeah. Don't get fat. Don't get fat and kill your planet. Well. and, and robot, we're, we're well on our way already. Yeah, I was literally about to say that. <laughs> and robot love, that's what it's about too. I actually didn't even finish Wally, to be honest robot with you. Robot love, Jesus Christ! Well, I think it. you'll like uh, Big Hero Six. Is, I mean, it's, totally know, different. It's, yeah, robot love, completely different ball game. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I have no doubt that I'll love it. If anything, I could <laughs> say that Baymax is one of my favorite characters of all let time. Me, let me ask, so let me ask I you this: Baymax Fantastic. spoke until I saw the Academy Awards. He's great. What? I didn't even know he spoke. Have you not seen the trailer? Yeah. No, I mean, I Who thought I had. I just didn't. You forgot. No, I'm no, I mean, <laughs> the only trailer I saw was the one uh, where he's like, sta- the, he's like talking to the cop and like oh, he's yeah, got his like, yeah. 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 the oh, hole, and then he like kicks the ball there. and tries to chase it. Oh, yeah. I guess you, that's true. And if you did, <laughs> that's a good point. Okay. And when he's putting the armor on him and like the thing and his pops his belly, yeah. <laughs> belly, like Christ. Yeah, I never forget when I first saw that. The first, like you said, when he's just chasing that soccer ball around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you guys this: oh, What, Harry, baby? Like, since we're talking, since you had mentioned how you thought about 
Big Hero. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have a favorite animated movie? Yes. What is it? The Lion King. I have a feeling it's a lot of people's mm-hmm. favorite. <laughs> Is really good, and Lion King Two was really fucking good. I never I saw not it. seen that. <laughs> I might Disney sequels. Um, I'm not down with, but yeah, Lion King Two, The Return of fuck, Jafar, man. <laughs> Return of Jafar. I might go yeah. Land Before Time, since I mean it is that's a that good one. one's also that's, tattooed that's on me and made me one. love dinosaurs. Yeah, if I got really about deep into it, it's I'm sure I could find like dinosaurs being friends. They're probably there are like a lot more recent animated movies too that are like really really good movies, but Big Hero Six. But I, but I mean, I don't You'll mean see. like it is. I'm not shitting you. I know, but I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about like, you know, outrage like Disney movies with talking animals yeah. and fucking I, superheroes. <laughs> I'm talking about like, that like you know like Spirited Away or like the Princess. Mm-hmm. Kaya, away is like great. what was it? Kyoto Mononoke. Or, yeah. yeah um, Mononoke. Okay, yeah. Princess Mononoke. Um, <laughs> what the hell you guys are talking about? She's a and the way you know dude. just there are like a good, girl. a lot of good storytelling going on in animation. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But. There was even back. I mean, it's a cool medium too because you can do whatever you want with it. But Toy Story is arguably up there. Yeah, I, that's I would, up there. That would that would be up I, there for the me. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, Lion King is. It, it would it would be very so close between those two. Cause, I mean, the Lion King. I can remember like like being in my parents' basement and singing the songs. Oh yeah, just out, just running around the fucking room and shit. Just me and my friend used to compare. Like we used to bitch at each other about who sounded more like Simba when we'd sing. I just can't wait to be king. But it was like, more like Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I saw that movie like seven times in theaters, and they made remember the special edition Wonka bars they would make. Yep. For the Disney I movies, do. that yeah. would have like a scene from the movie. Yeah. I would always yeah. get one, and my God. grandma took me a throwback. bunch of times. So that that holds like a special place in my heart. The Lion King. Okay, was that you agreeing? Or is I that? mean, I do love Lion King, but um, I really love Lion King too. Like I used to watch Lion King too every single day. Wasn't that called Simba's Pride? Uh, I think so. I can't remember the title <laughs> of it, but I like used to watch it every day and sing the songs. It's a really good sequel, like all, like it Cinderella is. two and all that other shit. Jeez, like, all don't mess with that. Lion King two is really good. Though. You know what's a fun fact about the Lion King? Mm-hmm. Shoot. Disney was also making Pocahontas at the time, and they thought that Pocahontas like was going to be this huge event movie, and someone else wanted to make the Lion King. So they had their, like, B and C squad doing Lion King and all their, like, no number kidding. one wow. animators were on Pocahontas. And it, like, like you can't even compare. Like, Lion Whoops. King just nope. destroyed it. They made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and I read that the that other day. I'm like, why one of those stupid, like, 17 facts you didn't know about Disney. We all know that they have their little yeah. sexual uh, but I do things in their But I think my favorite movies. is Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Love you going that. there? Oh, okay. that's a great movie, too. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, I was exactly. gassed on for Halloween like a few years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. Cool. And my girl, I hated this girl, but we were dating. Um, <laughs> uh, we were dating. She dressed up as Belle. <laughs> Tony, what about you? Do you know? Uh, that's a really hard question. It's okay, tough, ballpark. Man. I mean, well, Steve, you didn't uh, even, did you really? Anime doesn't count, so why don't we just. Yes, it's an animated no, thing. No, two different things. No, it's not. Anime is anime. <laughs> not anime. Gonna go it's just stupid. And then oh, oh, I'm gonna go Digimon question. the movie. No, I'm just you know, I fucking <laughs> love that. That's Digimon. Digimon. Remember the soundtrack Digital for Digimon. Monsters, Digimon. No, the champions. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I did love Digimon. I, okay. I loved it too. I, oh VR I don't great. know why VR Troopers <laughs> came from Digimon, but what a what a show. They might. I think they were like same <laughs> yeah, same two hour uh, time slot. VR oh, Troopers, man. the best Power Rangers ripoff. <laughs> yeah, God, that was bad. I mean, I'd probably say it's either Toy Story or Lion King. It's yeah. one of the two. Toy, Toy Story is definitely up there. Toy Story. I, I mean, Fern I, Gully's on my know. list pretty Ooh. high too. Ooh, Fern Gully. Fern Gully. That's a quality. The talking, one. Like this could be a whole other podcast. Yeah, really, yeah. Could do another podcast like just based yeah, let's on leave it. Yeah, we should, don't, we totally yeah you're gonna have to come back to me with a real answer. All right, let's do that. Too hard. The ne- how about, like we'll do a future podcast for animation. Yes, yeah, so and Tony will have his final answer. We'll talk cartoons and what about anime though? Real quick before we like animate it. You can only get a minute before we like wrap up. Some guy made a live action it's a Power Rangers thing and it was like years in the future from the original series. So the premise of it was the Pink Ranger has been captured by James Vanderbeek. Yeah. <laughs> and he's interrogating her trying to figure out where Tommy is. So who was he supposed to be? Um I thought there was He was one I of the he... later ring- Rangers. I think, wait, I think it was Billy. 
No, because Billy got was killed. Oh, that's right. Billy was killed. Guy. Jason was killed, and they oh, showed shit. Trina's face somewhere, but she yeah, wasn't there. It was there. a funeral. So I think he might have been from like another incarnation of the Rangers. Um, I thought he was Jason at first until but he said it. But the whole thing is he's looking for Tommy, and then there's a sequence where Zach, as the Black Ranger, is going. And they that actually was cool. like kill people and like yeah, it's like a it's like a gritty like gritty, darker like a gritty sci like too. dark sci fi movie. And Tommy, the Golden yeah. Shield, is like it, it's like a golden light. Like shield. projection yeah, of like, like a yeah it's like yeah. it's really it's like not neat. on him but it's like it's like an over yeah, yeah. projected yeah. onto him it's That's really sweet. cool and then there's a you know climactic sword fight between uh Tommy there and were the guy. there were a yeah. lot of cheesy parts but there were a lot of really cool parts cool. it was just like, neat the yeah. thing with the Black Ranger that was really cool when his mask uh, yeah. like came on and he like, but if they still have like the kind of traditional suits but the masks like come like Iron Man's helmet like comes yeah. out yeah. of the suit. And then you got like, you remember they like got shot in the head like four times. Yeah, he's just like, like ping, 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 yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, it was that out. It was a cool fan film. I mean, it was yeah. it was leg- definitely legit. Uh, they it wasn't like cheesy in the sense of like, mm-hmm. um, like graphics or CGI yeah. or anything, but just like some of the Butch acting. I, some of the acting, I guess, was just kind of like, eh. <laughs> but but oh, yeah. but they're like kill Jason. Yeah, they lead like, like a they lead like a team of SWAT, like a SWAT team and like shoot him in a car and, it, and they're like, like that should be a bully as you did. Yeah, that's, that's like for like, making fun of us and stuff. <laughs> it's like, oh come on, my God. It was good. <laughs> yeah. You guys should so, Google it. It was really fun. I loved it. We'll yeah. definitely check that out. But cool. All right. Well that was power that was some fun time flew by. Some talk. Blistered through it. I get I got to uh get some stuff off my chest. Mm-hmm. And I also just wanted to say look forward to an incredibly special guest. Yes. Um do we want to say it? Do we want to keep it a week? secret? It's 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 pretty much it's yeah. in the coming it's, weeks. It's in the coming weeks. Yeah. Do I? Do you want to say it's, who it's it is? It's close to being confirmed. confirmed. I'm like so excited about it. Do Do you want to say who confirmed. it is? I'd love to. Okay. Go we ahead. guys, we're gonna have my favorite guest that we've had on thus far. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna have Doug Jones on from. You Ooh, might know yeah. him from. Oh yeah. Recently, he was uh, in the show Falling Skies, yep. um, Hellboy, yeah, anything Guillermo del Toro does. Mm-hmm. And he was Man's in Labyrinth, the movie Man's with Labyrinth, Paul Cram. With Paul John Cram, dies yeah. at the end. Like so many really great yep. movie and great creatures that he's brought to life. And it's, mm-hmm. it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of man. fun. We are looking we forward to it. It'll be awesome. almost as good as Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it. Tony's like, never <laughs> be more than Barbara. But <laughs> nothing will ever be as good. No, no knock on uh, Barbara. But man, I'm, I'm really. Oh, no, it's going to be great. Yeah. Right, thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.